Alright guys, I just wanted to give you a look at this um, Asus EFI BIOS. Um, it's the new Sony Bridge platform. This board is the Asus P8, P67 Evo. Um, sorry, I'm not, I don't have a tripod so the camera is going to be moving around a bit. Uh, but anyway, um, this is the information screen. So, I won't go into every single detail because we'll be here all night. Um, but you've just got your typical information. So, as you would have heard, as you would know, um, mouse support in the BIOS, even scroll um, support as well. Um, so, just security settings there. Okay, there's also a um, simple mode, which I'll just show you. Okay, so you've got load optimized defaults, save changes and reset, discard changes and exit. EZ mode is the um, simple mode, so you've just got like three profiles to choose from. Um, boot priority, that's about it, and then you can see all the temperatures, the time, voltages, fan speeds, and language up there. So I'll just go back to advanced mode. Um, and I'll show you the, the real cool stuff. Okay, so it's just got all these tabs here across the top. So I'm just using the mouse to access all those. So at the moment you can see it's set the CPU is set at 4.8 GHz, memory at 1600 MHz. Um, so, AI overclock tuner, you've got auto manual or XMP. Um, you can set the BLK just there, which with these processors, the um, Sandy Bridge processors, you don't really muck around with the BLK. You can for a little bit of extra tweaking, but because of the um, the onboard graphics, the graphics on the CPU, um, it causes instability pretty fast. Anything over say 110, 115 apparently you run into some problems. So just go for the K-series um, Sandy Bridge processors if you want to overclock and overclock via the multiplier. Um, so turbo ratio here, you can go auto by all cores, which means you can adjust in the OS, or by per core, which means you can't adjust in the OS. So at the moment it's set by all cores. So there's this one multiplier to set, so it's at 48 times 100, which is 4.8 gigahertz. Um, so if I go by per core, you can see you can adjust each separate core of the processor the multiplier of each separate core of the processor, so it's pretty cool. Um, there's lots of power settings with this. Um, internal P PLL over voltage, memory frequency, you can see it goes right up to 2400 megahertz. Um, see, uh, EPU power saving mode, that's just one of the ASUS intelligent processors. OC tuner is um, auto tuning, okay, DRAM timing control. So you've got a fair bit of control over the, the RAM here. So I'm just scrolling down. CPU power management, another um, good spot to go when overclocking. So you can just chain, turn off speed step and turbo in here um, and there's another CPU ratio setting um, which I think it's like the like the bottom of um, where it'll go to um, whereas you know the turbo ratio is the top I'm not quite sure on, on that one I haven't really played around with this yet um, just turbo mode parameters, I haven't played with them either. Um, 
but you can see them all listed there. Okay, so here's all our VRM settings. So we've got load line calibration, lots of different options for that this time. VRM frequency, we can go auto or manual. So I've got manual set at 500, which is the maximum. Um, phase control, got those presets or manual and then those presets. Uh, GD control, T probe or extreme. Um, it's got excellent explanations of what all of this is up in the right hand corner as well. Another cool thing about the Air 5 wireless. CPU current capability. Um, okay, now on to voltages, which are pretty much standard, same as usual, although you've got some new voltages here for the Sandy Bridge platform. Okay, the rest is all pretty much the same as normal. Um, CPU config in there, more CPU settings. Ah, oh, there's some pretty cool new ones in there, as you can see. You've got all your CPU information in this there. Um, I'll just go through each of these one at a time. Get through them pretty fast. SATA config. So it's actually got the color. Um, as well as the number of the port, so you know exactly which port it is and what's plugged into it, which is very cool. USB configuration, onboard devices, so that's pretty standard. You can actually set the um, PCI Express bandwidth of the third slot there. Um, the different SATA controllers, settings, etc. Okay, now on to monitor. Q fan adjustments, dynamic fan control, anti surge support. You can have that on or off. Um, so, this is the boot section. bit priority. We've got this boot override as well. Um, which just allows you to override the boot priority like one time I think um, and boot into some whatever you want. Hard drive BBS properties. Okay. There you go, that's basically everything and tools, you've got the EZ flash utility for flashing the BIOS, OC profile, SPD info, this is pretty cool, all information about your memory, very useful. So this particular board has 8 OC profiles, um, yeah so that's Pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys.